so it's a work for four soloists, uh, brass soloists and uh, orchestra. It's a concerto grosso. Uh, there are four movements. Uh, each of the solo instruments is featured in one of the movements, but they always melt together in each movement as well. And then there's a big climax. I, I think I'm very keen on, on researching and going inside the, the instruments and getting very close to the musicians and the instruments. It's, it's, it's a richness of sounds uh, and I love orchestration and, and, uh, and finding uh, harsh sounds and very beautiful sounds. Uh, so it's very, I think it's very rich in character and, and sound. Describing a piece is always, um, yeah, it's always thrilling to do that because as a soloist when you play, it's really hard to, to get an overall impression. So you, you get the impression of what happens around you and you're quite yeah, you have to focus on your part of, of this piece. But I think it's quite an adventurous piece. It has all these little solos. Everybody from us, of, of us four, has more or less a movement where he plays. But also there's these little tutti and overlapping things. And it, I think he really learned how to use the brass instruments. It's really interesting, many colors, lots of texture in the orchestra. I think the audience will love it. It's always fun to see how a piece will be. We, we haven't had the chance to listen to the orchestra before we came for, for the first rehearsal, so it was a completely different piece. This piece is very, very interesting because it's a concertante for tuba, trombone, horn and trumpet. And, and, and for, for, uh, I think it's a, it's a great moment for, for our quartet and, and for, all, for our literature.